Actually, it was kind of a heartwarming story. My grandmother brought me here when I was nine. I used to come and visit her. Obviously, we did the Disneyland thing, which was such a big deal, but so was Pie and Burger. And I'd have a hamburger and strawberry pie sitting at this very counter I'm at now. The restaurant started in 1963, Benny and Florence Foot took it over in 1969. The recipes were always theirs from the very beginning. When I started in 1972, there was an opening here and I decided I'd, to give it a shot and, and work here. And uh, I've been here ever since. See you later. Tell Bonnie hi. I feel as time has gone on, I am the owner of Pie and Burger, but I'm also the caretaker of an institution. I haven't changed anything from the original. We still do things exactly the same way that I was trained to do them. The baker I have today was trained by Florence. He's been here actually one year longer than I have. We make our own sodas. We have an old fashioned soda fountain where we pump the syrups in and then we just mix uh, soda water in with it. The pie oven we use is the original pie oven. We put a lot of fruit in the pies. So many pies today are made with fruit filler, but our pies, how they were made 75 years ago is how they're made today. So when people come here, they're gonna get something that's really, really good. In terms of what makes our burger special, we have a good hamburger bun. We put a little bit of butter on it when we toast it, so it gets crispy. And then our patty is quarter pound, hand padded patty, it's prime beef. As the meat cooks in a minute, what we'll do is we'll actually score it a little bit so that the patties don't bunch up and sort of become like a ball in the center. That is one of the things about uh, when you're using a hand padded patty versus a maybe a machine gun patty is they, they have a tendency to shrink as towards the center a little. So as the meat starts to soften up around the edge, just give it a little bit of a cross cut. One of the secrets of, of the hamburger is really to only turn it one time. So the more times you turn it, the more flavor you lose from the, from the cooking process. We use a flat griddle as opposed to a charbroiler because that seals in the juices a little bit better. Well, the grill has, has been cleaned, but it's the original grill and we make our own Thousand Island dressing. It's a recipe that goes back to the 1940s. It's a little sweeter, it has a little more relish in it. We put a fair amount on. Then you can have raw grilled onions if you want to, and those you know, grilled onions have a unique flavor versus raw. We use a thicker dill pickle slice than a lot of places do. And I guess again in that classic Americana mold, we use Kraft American cheese. And then right there we just put the cheese on at the last. And it'll melt in just a little bit and then we'll take them off. The bun seals the juices in so that it doesn't leak in through the bun. The meat has great flavor. It has that woody, nice steak flavor to it. You try to wrap, wrap it about halfway down so that it looks like that. So you've got the thousand, the lettuce, and it's perfectly in a cylinder. We don't try to do something that we're not, and that's one of the things that makes us a success here is that we've stayed true to all those things that I learned when I first started here, that Benny and Florence learned when they started the place. So 80 years later, we're doing something exactly the same way. I do feel that what I have here is very, very special, and I don't need to make radical changes to make it a success. Wow.